The opinions and views and thoughts spoken by the host of this podcast are for entertainment purposes only. It is not real. It is not serious. It's all entertainment. No one is revealing, exposing, or telling you anything about themselves. Yo, 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 yo. You already know. What up, my boy, motherfucking Zay? How you feeling today? Oh, it's lit. It's still lit. It's always lit, man. Yeah, it's always lit. It's always a lot going on. Man, how you, wait, what's going on with this April 6th shit, man? Niggas getting active? I'm there. Yeah, Last time I, Big I, Frank was here, I was there. You, you know, know what? what? Y'all was there. I was super slapped. I'm there. Y'all was there. How much was it to get in? It was taxing? <sighs> I know. I paid the, my boy Key paid like 50. Oh, yeah. Shit. Damn, was I there? I was, was, <laughs> was there. I was there. Damn. You was there. I only paid dub then. Oh, because he ain't had no ID. Yeah, he had like a paper ID or Tripping. something. Tripping. Flex threw up before we went in Tripping. there. Tripping. I ain't going to lie. They got the dance going on right yeah. now, too. Hey, to be honest, eh, you got to say, you because niggas been in the inbox to you and shit, in the DMs and shit. Motherfucker got a A. Hey, yo, I'm going to just walk up to Yo, him. Yo, Frank. Like, yeah, um, no, nah, that's what I'm saying, man. Up? You know, man. What up, man? Motherfucker going, who is you? Man, I'm Zay T.A. You know, Zay, Zay on the track. Zay T.H.P. type shit. Zay balling, you know. <laughs> you almost call me Zay the Kid. That's crazy. That's a classic. That's crazy. Vaping little slasher. They don't know about him, man. They don't know. They don't yeah, know. I see JP. I'm, yeah, what up, man? <laughs> <laughs> Like what up Y'all niggas still in beats What's happening Hey man oh, My mama like Holla at me I'm right yeah. here I got a pack right now I'm gonna have flash drive Oh I got the NPC In my backpack Look in the ass You grab them stems Nope I can't though Cause it's only for the computer Right now Like so uh, I'm gonna wait For sure For sure well, y'all already know where y'all is. Y'all already know where y'all at. This things they won't say. I'm your humble, most gracious. The best host there is around town, around this bitch in the Midwest. Notorious L-O-T-T-O, a.k.a. Lotto Bean. Some may, some may call me Lot. Some may call me Baby Dave. Some may even call me Burger. Hey, this episode 47, and we back on things they motherfucking won't say. And you already know how I get to it. I get right into the nitty gritty and jump right into the shits and out the gate. Matter of fact, where you, where, what you trying to start with today, man? I'm going to ask my man, Zay THP. You know, we, we, we might as well get Brother Love out the way, man. Okay, we're going to start with just the <laughs> topics, man. We're going out the, to out the gate. I hate to say it, but we back again with the Diddler. Motherfucking P. Diddy. Man. He's back again on the prowl. Today, well, not today, maybe yesterday. Raids turn up legal heat on Sean Diddy Combs in sex trafficking investigation. It says Sean Combs is facing mountains, legal troubles after federal agents searches properties in Los Angeles and Miami as a part of a sex trafficking investigation. <sighs> I hate to say it, but it may be over with you for P. Diddy. It's over. I'm sorry, Sean. It started with Cassie. You settled that. Now you out the country. And they raiding your crib. You know what's going on. And Why you, you leave the little you homies on stuck? You left your sons. You left, man. Why you leave the little homies on stuck? It was footage of your sons in handcuffs in the raid. A raid that you were not there for. You overseas watching on a tablet. I like, might be into it with my pops behind that. I promise you. Then, what's her name? Carisha? Mm-hmm. They act like she she acted like she's so innocent on Twitter. Bitch, if you 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 next. Mm -hmm. You they coming for you too. All of them. Everybody. Meek. You, want, you, you hey. Meek. <laughs> hey, Meek. We just was talking about you, oh, Meek. Oh my you, God. Man, you went to them Diddy parties. You was telling everybody that's in your Philly entourage they can't come. Mm -hmm. Yeah, these niggas is crazy. And it's reports allegedly Diddy has sold all his shares to revolt. To some unknown private buyer, and he has no longer has any ties to revolt. That's when you know shit is all going downhill for a nigga. When a nigga starts selling shit, when a nigga start pawning shit off, niggas know what they did is true. It That's is when over. a nigga know they guilty. That's just like when the average nigga sell his game or sell his gun, that nigga back against the wall. Mm -hmm. This is the last. This is the last hope a nigga got. Did he know what the fuck going on? Like, like bro said, you had a $30 million lawsuit from Cassie. When that came out, 
it was other reports allegedly you hung Wale over the balcony because he tried to get at Cassie. Allegedly, you blew up Kid Cudi's car because he tried to get at Cassie. Lil Rod said you sexually assaulted him, touched his booty and all type of shit in the studios. And then he said you didn't pay him for none of the beats and his and the things he produced on your last album, Love. You oh, still man. the same nigga. And it's just so happy your house your house get rated on the anniversary on the anniversary of Biggie's album. Mm. Mm. Mm, mm, mm. I don't know what to tell you, Sean. Maybe you want Robert can have a, a sale together. Nah, <laughs> free my uncle. I know he did some crazy <laughs> stuff, but nah, make them switch. Switch. Nah, I, I'm gonna keep saying that them parents was wrong, man. The parents pawned their kids off to Robert. I seen a tweet that said in Chicago. They used to see R. Kelly pull up to high school. <laughs> pull up to the high schools getting girls and shit. They said he been doing what he been doing for a long time. Like, that's he, that make it worse. Like, damn. Rob, you was on that. But, yeah, man, anybody who got ties to Diddy, a.k.a. the Diddler, it's all but over for you. Like, hey, this shit is documented. When they read your crib, they taking everything out of there. Tapes, files. Anything written in books, anything jotted down, notes, all that shit is theirs oh, now. Oh man. Don't don't let it be no audio tapes. Cause I know a freaky nigga like him recorded some of this Something shit. From like 94. Bro, uh, you're going down. Um Keefy D, when he got lucked up for Tupac murder, he started to low-key kind of rat on Diddy. Everybody been turning their backs on Diddy. Mm-hmm. Shit, they saying Jay-Z next. Yeah, because where he at? (laughs) (laughs) I don't even know what he got to do with this. But shit, hey, at this point, this shit all is coming down. Everybody who got, everybody who did anything, hey, what they say, the truth, what the, I forgot how the saying go. Um, Moral of the story, oh no, what's done in the dark shall always come to light. It looked like all his skeletons that's in his closet, they are coming out. Mm -hmm. You should have just, hey, I would have been paying everybody off, left and right. I wouldn't even been outside no more. I'd have been over the overseas on some Russell Simmons type shit. That's why Russell Simmons overseas. That's why he don't be in America. This nigga's crazy. Because if I ain't mistaken, when Russell Simmons first married Kamora Lee Simmons or Kamora Lee, she was like 19, 18. Young little shorty. I don't know what's wrong with these niggas and, and going after these young hoes. I promise you. If I was that old, a young bitch wouldn't even listen. That shit wouldn't even get out to the media. NDA. NDA, you must sign this. No phones around. I don't care how deep we tied in. None of that shit. What? Crazy as hell. Or you going to end up like Diddy off the Diddler act. For sure. And they got him dressed up as the Joker and green and all type. They had him in the OJ truck. Hella hey. police behind. <laughs> <laughs> Diddy. What the fuck, Diddy, man? I feel, I, I really feel. Bad for all the people who was involved in situations over the years with Diddy because this is not the first time he's been accused of none of this shit. Diddy's not had a forty year, thirty year, thirty year, forty year run uh, just being in the industry and just doing all type of shit. They say he uh, sent Usher to the hospital when Usher first came in the industry because he was beating Usher down. They said he he groomed uh, Justin Bieber when he came into the industry. So this is just something Diddy does, like, and he want to take niggas shopping. So I know it's true. Everything that nigga, they saying that nigga did, he did. And yeah. I, I hate to say it, but it's so true. So Fab, he want a party party. Like what? He ain't party, Jack. Like, ah, oh, nah. What type of, come on, man. Mm-mm. You and Meek wearing twin shirts and shit. At a certain age, you can't do that shit no more. Y'all not even blood brothers. Y'all not twins. Stop all that shit. Y'all not from Atlanta. Yo, twin. Shout out Gibby, man. <laughs> Gib, Gib, man. The Gibster, man. Twin, Soft what's ass. up, twin? Soft as hell. <laughs> While we talking about freaky and nasty shit, we might as well go ahead and jump right into the Freak Nick documentary that was produced and released by, I think, Jermaine Dupri has something to do with that. All I can say is, man, if y'all haven't seen that Freak Nick documentary, I would recommend y'all go see it so y'all can understand where Freak Nick is originated and where it came from. I just want to know your thoughts behind that because I know you watched it too. So, I I like 
what they was trying to do with it at first, like before all the freaky and all that, it was just like a spring break for blacks. No, like, yeah. Then it just got crazy. Like old girl know? said, shit. She said we ain't had no transportation. We couldn't get to go nowhere. So shit. We all just said, let's all meet up over here mm-hmm. in a little corner of a park that don't nobody even go to. But then it took a turn, though. Niggas was just Man. overly, overly freaky. Like, bro, bro chill, I, bro. I'm talking in the clips they had in there. Oh, my God. I ain't going to lie. I. So you tell me you wouldn't have been active out there? At I, the, I, I can't <laughs> say I wouldn't. Dog. I can't say I wouldn't. From the clips I've seen, I promise you. I'm sorry, but I would have took somebody, mama or grandma down because they was out there on top of cars, shaking ass. I'm talking titties getting Motherfuck pulled out. Walk up to you, like pull your shit out. Let's take a Dog, picture. Like, some, right. some girl said that. He said, yeah, I walked up to the car. She said, pull your dick out. I'm, huh? Right here? On the E-way? Are we on the air? Like, what? You want me to pull my shit out right here? You better be. A, you better do something. We, we we active. Hey, lit. man. Yeah, I know you've seen that picture that it is the surface on Facebook and on X, a.k.a. formerly known as Twitter. It was like six dudes, and they was holding their Yeah, they had her booty. shit spread. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. They said, they said her booty definitely ripped. Her booty hole definitely ripped. Like Then they started it off with um 21 Savage, his freak Nick. His uh, he had a birthday party and yeah. it was it was themed Freak Nick. What you think about that? Did that look? It looked it cracking. I ain't gonna lie. It it, it can't compare to. It can't. Nah. It can't. It never will be. It'll never be the same. Even now, they still doing it today, but it's more of just like a gathering. Like it ain't. Mm-hmm. Man, I wish I was around. I'm not gonna day, lie. Man. What? What? <sighs> Give me that early '90s. Even I go from anywhere from night. Matter of fact, I say. Give me any freak nick from 88 to like 94, 95. I was there. Mm-hmm. After that, y'all, y'all got it. Hey, y'all got it after that. <laughs> y'all got it after that. Y'all got it after that. Like you said, at, at a point, it started to become overly freaky. It was some dude on there who said, man, I got a wife at home. I ain't here for none of the other stuff. No, nah, nigga, you here? Oh, he put his hand, he put his palm up, like his his right hand. Like, hey, my wife. Hey, he nah. beating this shit. <laughs> he ain't married, nigga. He said it's my wife at home. Like, nigga, he out here. Fuck you. <laughs> hey, he acted. They, they, they in a drop top. Come he on, is out here, man. That ad, and this ass everywhere. Cause I'm telling you, them clips. I'm talking about married. They said yeah. if you was, they said if you was a baller back then, you had your camcorder on your shoulder. And that let people know yep. you had that money. Like then, um, Goody, the the Dungeon family eventually appeared on there. Mm-hmm. Uh, CeeLo Green mentioned that around that time they just wanted to push Outcast over, and Freak Nick was so large and so big, it wasn't no internet at that time. So they started handing out tapes. Putting out, handing out tapes to everybody around, and at the time they say everybody was just instantly putting the tapes in the, in their cassette players, putting them in their mm-hmm. cars, bumping them, banging them, and that's one of the ways. Outcasts continue to get bigger and grow. Like just hearing that is just like, it show how different the times was. Like how we live in this internet era, it's nothing like that, that traditional boots on ground. Really have to, you know, grind for your shit. Like, for sure. pass that's why shit I, out. That's why I salute DJ Screw so heavy because he was really trapping his music out of his house and the police raiding them thinking they finna find drugs. They, who is DJ Screw? What is this? Like, he's selling his music. It's tapes. Yeah. I seen a picture of him. He had like a, 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 a see through little, you know, like a see, see through cup, like how they yeah. got the plastic red cups, but it was see through. I'm talking, it was so dark. Drink. I'm talking darkest, dark ass purple, like. And then he made us. He made chopped and screwed music. Mm-hmm. Like he started it. Like that's a whole. That's literally a genre, down south in Texas and Dallas and all that. Niggas drank, drank to that shit. Yep. Like, what? That shit is just. Like he need a real biopic though. Like, nah, he, he no need bullshit. A real movie. No bullshit. And then I hate to say the demise of Freak Nick was really based off business. And I always tell everybody, whatever is going to move the money, that's what they're going to decide to do. 
dude, I forgot who it was, might have been Uncle Luke. He said something like Freak Nick was bringing in around like anywhere from 1.5 to like 3.5 million or something like that every time. He said the Olympics, they, they scheduled for the Olympics to come to Atlanta, either 93 or anywhere from 93 to 95, one of those years. And the Olympics brought in 20, like $22 billion. What? Fuck that freak Nick. The government said, God, fuck freak Nick. Damn. That shit over with. Cancel that shit. They start, start getting on people's ass. Putting out a limited task force. Yeah, hella police. Hella police. Shit. Making sure the highway is clear. But I hate to say it. Hey, when the money is coming in, the people who make the rules, the laws, and the regulations that we got to abide by, they're going to always side with the money. Yeah. If the if it's more money for this, we doing this. It was cool when, oh, we making, some, we making millions off these black folks over here? Okay, that's cool. But, okay, then the Olympics come, $22 billion, Clean that shit up. Go. Y'all got to go. <laughs> y'all got to go. Uh. Y'all, to be honest, y'all wilding out here. Y'all showing ass. Y'all showing titties. It's people damn near fucking on the street. They got them Daisy Dukes on. I oh don't my. know about them Daisy Dukes. The classic ones. <laughs> the real ones. The real ones. Like what? That only look good on black women. Hey, be cool, man. For real. No, for real. You, hey. And then, I think Rashida said it too. She said like, this one, everything was natural. Real Wasn't thick no women. BBLs, Wasn't no BBLs. So. Mm. Them asses you were seeing on that video, on that documentary, them was real. Them was cornbread fed, mm-hmm. greens, cabbage in the body, shaped, thick. Like, what? Hoo-wee. <laughs> boy, 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 if I'm telling you, y'all think I'm a fool now. If I was there then, it might be three of me running around. To be honest... I know it's niggas who got somebody pregnant there and doesn't even know they had a baby. For sure. It like, it's a lot be. of niggas that, that, that pop something off down there and then went home or went back to their school and didn't know no better. Shit, a lot of them niggas wasn't even in school. Just participating in festivities. Yeah. That freak nigga shit was a time, man. I can't For lie, sure. man. And I didn't realize it until they said it, but, like, when I say this, I'm not saying he's Diddy, but... Jermaine Dupree is like the Atlanta's P Diddy. Like yeah. he's that he's that mogul for Atlanta. Like JD been around for a long time. Like and he got countless hits to make countless songs for people. Like Escape, shit, Usher, Mariah Carey. He he got them Jones. Like damn, I'm wow, okay. Wow, wow, <laughs> the brat. Yeah, yeah. Shit, um, what's that crew with them? Jagged t- Edge. I forgot about Jagged Edge. What's the two boys? Um, I don't even crisscross. Crisscross, yep. Shit, in my eyes, you might as well say what's them? What's the group from um House Party? F- immature, immature. Oh, <laughs> no, I know. I'm just talking <laughs> shit, but you might as well fuck it. Throw them in there. Yeah. He said we immatures in the house. I might have to watch that because that's sure. hey, that's a classic. Oh my gosh, since we talking about freak nicks and just a whole bunch of different allegations, we recently talked on the pod about Jalen Green getting Dre and Michelle pregnant. Allegedly, Jalen Green already has a child by a stripper. <laughs> and he and then he has another woman pregnant, and she has the same due date as Dre and Michelle. All I know is, if y'all been keeping track of ball, watching the NBA, ever since Jalen Green has been noted he has kids, it's like it flipped a switch in that man. That man has been putting up 40s, crossing niggas, dunking on dudes, doing all type of things. I, I Listen, maybe when you got a kid, it just put a, a kid on the way, put a different battery in your back and really motivate you. Nigga stressing. But that nigga in the interview, they said, "Yeah, um, Jalen, Jalen, what's got you? What's um got you playing so well as up to date?" He said, "I just want to provide and so and and provide for my family." Oh yeah, that nigga's finna be an all star. He's gonna and then I just was watching Club Five Twenty. Shout out to them boys. They said Jeff Teague said he learned from one of his vets 
that the max amount of money you could get in Texas for child support is fifteen hundred a month. Yes, he's straight. He's a Houston. I would be on the Rockets for the rest of my life. <laughs> oh no, man! They for the trade his ass. <laughs> <laughs> he for to go to L.A. and pay that bag. Oh my God! They gonna have to. He gonna have to pay the bag for real. Yeah. Oh my God! He gonna have to pay the bag for real. All I know is, but he's a max player, so he can afford that shit. But three kids by three different bitches. That's just that's just too too yeah, many that's, personalities. That's, yeah. There's too many. Too many Mood birthdays, switches. Too many Christmases. That's too much you got to provide yeah. for. Because shit. I could see if it was from one person. No, yeah. If, nah, say, if it was all, just Dre and Michelle, she had, and you got her pregnant three times. Or the stripper bit. You had one baby mama, three kids. I could respect it. Because that's three kids. You could get that little. You can get your one BM a little nice condo. If she not living with you. Or if y'all not together. You feel me? You could do that. But uh-uh. That's too much going on, man. Way too much going on. And shit, I done seen too many of these. You don't want to end up like um, what's his name? Joe, Joe something. His his bitch. He former NBA player. He don't got no money. His bitch on OnlyFans, doing OnlyFans <laughs> yeah. and going on um, can um Cameron and May show, mm-hmm. giving Cam Cameron massages and shit. Bitch, please, you crazy? Oh, what? I done t- gave her ass two black eyes. <laughs> what what Ti say? He this said I got two black eyes. <laughs> Where they at though? <laughs> they say I got two black eyes. Where they at though? <laughs> Damn. Man. Oh my god, that nigga threw a chair at Floyd. That is crazy. Literally crazy. I want to jump into something else, man. I was just recently watching Schoolboy Q on Drink Champs and he uh touch touch bases. Ooh. Let's see if I can find it. He touched bases on people checking in. I don't I've never been one of those people. I don't feel like I'm should, not going to check. Yeah. In, nigga. You don't. Man. I don't think you should be doing that because it just doesn't make sense. Who are these people you checking in? with? I would check in if I'm like, we need to shoot a hood video. Let's go to the hood. And then I'm going to check in with some niggas. I ain't just going to disrespect they shit. But if I'm like traveling, no, say that's I fair. go to Minnesota right now, I'm yeah. supposed to check in with Minnesota. No. Like, man. Who was that? L.A. is probably one of the most dangerous places for rappers. Do you believe that's true? Um, Yeah. Because, I mean, everybody be checking in. That's your favorite thing to do. Check in with somebody that's going to rob your stupid ass. Mm. Wow. Yo, you think that guy, he, yo, the guy that you don't know in uh, California got your back? The guy that got beef with other hoods and all this, you checking in to that dude? Bro, just go to the hotel, get you something to eat, <laughs> go back to the hotel. Do your business. Go have some fun where it's is fun. Where are you? Why do you want to go over there? For what? Don't call me. Oh, it's a be having a nerd to call me sometime. Like, <laughs> like, like, what are you talking about, bro? I'm playing video games. My daughter got a soccer game tomorrow, bro. Grow the f up. Like, I'm not about to drive over here to Beverly Hills and drop you off an ounce of weed. Uh. Listen, he has a great point when he said it. You checking in to some nigga who don't even fucking. Let me see. Uh, he don't even. This nigga don't even have no loyalty to you. None of that. You checking in with this man. It's like nobody even knew you was here. You call somebody and trying to check in. Now, all of a sudden, shit, you open that back door. Because who the fuck says the person you checking in with won't set you up? Man, back door is hell. Like, what the fuck? This nigga you checking in with got beef with everybody around this bitch. You checking in with him, though. Like, let's make this shit make sense, bro. I'm not checking in nowhere. Shit, that's like me. We live in Racine. That's like me going to the north and trying to check in. Bro, I'm not checking in with nobody. For sure. I'm just going to go do what I do. I'm going to go do what I do. I'm going to get in and get out. (laughs) Like he said, bro, go to your hotel. Get you something to eat. Go sit down. Go chill. Go to the fun parts. Why motherfuckers want to land in Atlanta? Is it in um, California's and... All, Texas is and all these places and I just want to go to the hood. Yeah, want to go to the block and shit. You don't even know nobody from these blocks. 
Shit, even around here, you go down the streets of Chicago. Motherfucker want to be on the block so, yeah, so I'm not, bad. I'm not going to take a picture in front of O Block. And oh, let's go see the King no. Von son. Hell, no. No. I can see bro. it on the internet. Like, bro, if you don't straight. take your ass downtown. You better go to Harold's, nigga. Go to yeah. some of these down. <laughs> go to hey, Harold's even in bad locations, the, depending which one you go to. Go see the bean. Man, listen, straight. go see the bean. Go chill. That's all you got to do. You don't got to do nothing else. That's literally all you got to do. You don't got to do all the other stuff and just be extra. And there's something else I want to jump into, man. For those who don't know, Flacco is somebody who is on No Jumper. He's a part of their cast. Recently, Jose Guapo was just arrested and put in jail. I caught wind of this clip of Flacco basically saying, basically saying, he put... Jose Guapo in jail. Let's check it out. Guapo is a motherfucker who I've warned. I said, bro, leave me alone, bro. Feel me, bro? Right? Again, mind you, this nigga used to be a rapper that used to do 20 million views per video. He was the littest thing on the planet in 2016, 2017. Jose Guapo was bigger than Amigos, right? He was that nigga out of Atlanta. He but, was running with them shit too. Yeah. But well, they they were running with him. And then they just got bigger than him. Now they Guapo right. Was That's big, yeah. But eight years later, now he's a fan of No Jumper, sitting at home watching No Jumper and trying to be a blogger, right? Doing one thousand views per video, right? So that nigga did the Decided that he was going to make a video coming at me, making threats at me and saying, I can't come to Atlanta. I'm banned from Atlanta because I'm speaking on Thug and YFN Lucci. I said, okay, cool. Right? <laughs> Just leave me alone now. He, he made five videos about me. I said, Jose Guapo, leave me alone. So then I started to, to you know, like, bite back, right? I made a, I made a YouTube video saying, Jose Guapo, I'm going to get you locked up within two months. Right? I told him. He did I, lie. I, 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 I told him. Crazy. I'm going to get you locked up within two months. Oh, shit. So you got him locked up today? Hey, I don't know who got him locked up. This nigga flopped. But so all I know is two hey, for two nigga, right now. Look, he's saying too much you're going to be in jail, nigga. And I seen this morning when I woke up. The nigga Jose is that Guapo in... shit getting raided. His hey, trap got raided. He ran from the police out the and back mind door. Judo, I immediately commented. That's Flacco. I knew it. And mind you, though, that my call to the police that I did make was, yo, these niggas is still talking about doing drugs and you feel me, right? You feel me? He and said selling drugs. About a trap house. They trap house gets raided. They, not it, right. it, again though. So again, so, so, so I don't gotta watch All right, break nigga, this bro. down. So Dude, you called the police and told them about this Jose like Guapo's me. trap house. And two months later, Jose Trap Out, I mean, Jose Guapo Trap Out just got yes. ready and he got arrested Look, this morning. This is why Mikey, I mean, you this two is why for two right now. Get niggas off the streets. Yeah, punch my death is going now, Jose Guapo. Now also two though, right? So Flacco got two rappers a, arrested so far. Listen, I made a full video on... That shit not okay. Listen, that shit is not okay. Bro. That fat bitch, Flacco, on No Jumper, he's a he not even from the streets. He don't have no street association. He let a nigga spit on him, on him and he ain't do shit on No Jumper. If AD wasn't there, he would have got his ass jumped. You just heard him literally say he called the police and told them... Jose Guapo and them is over there selling drugs in that trap house, such and such. And just recently, I think a week or two ago, no longer than a month ago, Jose Guapo trap house got raided and he's been put in and he was sent to jail. That's fucked up. You openly <laughs> ratted on a nigga. Man, that's fucked up. That's kind of why I don't fuck with no jumper and, now. Like, and and this the type of shit Adam Cadone. Yeah, because he, he the police too. Man, he he's a crazy guy. And for him to have Flacco fat ass up there, and he and he's purposely saying he put Jose Guapo in jail. Then he even mentioned Jose Guapo only doing a thousand views up to date. Bro, you only getting views because you on no jumper platform. Exactly. If you was doing this shit off the strength off of your own and trying to uh, grind this shit off the mud, you wouldn't be getting no fucking views at all. Fat bitch, that shit ain't cool. That's fucked up. That's you up there with Hellcat hips. Why body kid on your body acting like you somebody? Nigga, you let a grown man spit on you and you didn't do nothing. You just kept saying, we gonna see, we gonna see. You ain't do shit. What is you doing if somebody spit on you right now? It's up. It ain't even nothing to say. Way. It ain't even shit fight else it. to say. Nothing else to talk Yo, about. Let's fight. I ain't gonna shoot you. Let's I'm fight. finna do you in. 
Damn, she got a video with Sauce Walker? <sighs> yep. What's going on? <laughs> Man, you talking about, uh, yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah, I guess you got to have money to fuck that. That's what I'm saying. on the track finna be rich. Don't worry about it. Take her down for the hood. Mm. <laughs> Damn. Okay, Sauce Walker. I don't know. I wouldn't just be out here telling everybody who I'm. Shit, it's on the yeah, it's on on um on Twitter on yeah. X. I ain't giving no free promo. She ain't give me none. But damn, yeah, motherfuckers made a post on Facebook. Like she did. Who, guess who I just got cracked by last night? Oh, uh, so in the comments, she said, "I'm bro. That's I don't know." Like shit, she eating that motherfucker. Mm-hmm. I tell you that and He said mm-hmm. On me like Whoa yeah, I'll be on Twitter later Don't worry about it I Man <laughs> Before we switch and, and jump into some other things Before we get up on Off of these Topics uh, Sadly today The Baltimore Bridge Collapsed Earlier today If I'm not mistaken A uh, major bridge In Baltimore Collapsed after being hit By a freighter At about 1.30 a.m. Tuesday, sending at least eight people from a construction crew into the water. As a large section of the bridge crashed into the to the river, the container ship traveling at a, a relatively rapid speed of about eight knots lost power moments before it struck the bridge. The ship called the Dolly is a 948 foot Singapore flag vessel. Not only did those people those eight pa- um, construction people fall into the water, but it's reports that several cars that was on the bridge fell into the water as well and have not been recovered yet. Um, prayers goes out to those families and the people who have not been recovered or found or may not be found in, in that situation, but just like, what's your thoughts on the being say possibly being on a bridge when it, if it would like, what, how would you feel? I mean, I know uh, right. it's crazy about how you would feel, but just, just imagine yourself in that scenario or in that predicament. I just know on the way down, whatever pants I got on, it's over with. But, <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> it's over with. But no, I, man, I just start instantly praying to whoever listening. Like, man, we going down. It's water, but hey. still, now we got to swim. Tired as hell. I would hey, be working all day. <laughs> <laughs> Tired as hell. I'm swimming like a motherfucker. Ain't got nothing yeah. left in him. <laughs> hella equipment on. Hey, it's like, been a long day at work, and this happened. Bridge collapse. Oh, my God. Like I could have been checking my phone, doing prize picks or something. Now we just That's like down. some real like, final damn, destination man. type shit. I already don't like bridges. I hate them. Even when I'm on the highway going to Milwaukee, I just be thinking to myself, like, who made this infrastructure? Like, this one over on top of that, this one over on top of this highway, this one curved and over on top of this one. Who the fuck got this that high? Like, what happens if, like, man, what happened if we just fall through right now? Like, damn. If I live, I'm suing. Oh, my gosh. I'm getting paid. I'm getting paid. Y'all going to have to. Love it. It's gonna have to be one of those uh, quick buyouts or something because what I'm asking for is yeah. gonna have me live for the Y'all rest of my life. Good. Me never working again. Whatever in my life, boy, you crazy? You better stop playing right now, like for real, for real. Well, I'm gonna jump into the sports real quick before we jump into some music and talk about some new music that's been out. Far as sports, <sighs> sorry, but it's a wrap for the G League night. The G League. It, Ignite is to shut down after this season due to the program decision that comes to an end amid the changing basketball landscape, including the NCAA's name, image, and likeness NIL policy and the evident evident of collectives and transfer portal. I, I can see why they're shutting it down because instead of now going to the G League Ignite like it, like it was created for to get you a head start as far as training, get you um allow you to get a bag and get some money. Now you can still go to college, your big colleges, your big D1s, D2s, D3s, whatever you want to say, and you can still make na- make money off your name and likeness. So there's really no point of going there. So I understand why the G League um is shutting that down. And then on top of that, 
some of the last prospects that they've produced as far as coming from the G League Ignite have not really panned out. I mean, Scoot Henderson, he he did well. Um, I can't really think of nobody else who came from the G League Ignite who did pretty who who's exceeded or did pretty well as of right now. But that's the first person that I could think of. He he was what a top three pick. So once again, I can see why they shut it down. And then going into other sports news, John Tay Porter, the brother of Michael Porter, is getting inst- investigated by the NBA due to his sports betting. Supposedly, all J- John Tay Porter, his uh, props were low, like 7.5 points, 3.5 rebounds, like shit like that. And on um, when they played the Clippers, Basically, he purposely he played a few minutes, but then purposely got checked out the game. Yeah, they say he played four minutes. Uh-huh. His prop for uh, threes was was point like point five, five, so he just needed one. He just needed one. That but man he didn't shoot the ball. He, he played four <laughs> minutes though and left the game. And then they say it was another game on March something, maybe March twentieth or nineteenth. Uh, they played against somebody. And his his numbers was a decent number, some decent little n- low numbers, and he basically did the same thing. He left the game early with something like uh yeah, said he was sick. He, like, yeah, he was sick. Yeah. Keep in mind, on these sports books and sports betting sites, people was hitting on Jonte Porter going under mm-hmm. for the under. Boy, you can't be doing that. You over here, let man. And I know you got caught because he was off the AZ. Take the unders on me. <laughs> take he a the, real nigga, man. <laughs> take the unders on me. He don't care about no bro. scoring title or no... Man. But no, that's how he got caught because he told one man and the other guy told somebody. They told somebody. And then they told somebody. It said people was, is, people was trying to put bets on his unders for 10 Gs. <sighs> Yo, Max on these on, on some on some sports betting thing apps and sites you could do two G's. Most of them is a thousand. Yeah. People was trying to drop a ten ball yeah, on 10, John Tate. Ten Table. and twenty thousand. They trying to get January against the niggas was trying oh. to get a million off of John Tate Porter. Come on, man. He he tripping. He tripping. You in the league, bro? Just play for your money, bro. Just play for your money, bro. Damn, man. But yeah. that's a real nigga, though. You telling niggas to go under? Hey, hey, if, listen. If I, I wish no, I would have knew. If I wasn't no LeBron, I care about ring, yeah. Take the listen. under. I'm finna just throw the ball. Like, hey. <laughs> I'm finna miss every but rebound. You, I'm saying, are you gonna risk your you gonna risk your job of making millions for illegal sports is betting? He, is he active? Like or is he like the end of his career? Or is he like No, this is Michael Porter Jr.'s younger brother, so he a young younger. nigga. Uh, yeah. Yeah, he just he just came in the league not too long ago. Like the money you making on sports betting, you I'm pretty sure you can make that just by you playing ball. True, yeah, but I don't know. Nigga, want that fast money? Try to keep it a secret. Like, watch who you telling. Like, wouldn't have even did it on my account. Hell no. I'd have had somebody else do it, and I would have told them be regular. Don't be telling everybody. I got a cousin. Don't include nobody, hey. but just me and you. That's Man, it. Don't like, let nobody know about homies, this shit. Like none nothing. of that. None <laughs> of that. Don't do none of that. None of that. Before we get out of here, man, we're going to jump into the music today. And out the gate, I got to bring it up because I haven't talked about it. My boy, Chief Keith, he dropped a new project recently with Mike Will, made it, called Dirty Nachos. And I tried to tell people years on years when Lil Durk was having his run, everybody was switching up on my boy. He's trash. He's trash. They haven't heard no songs from him in years and no hits. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Y'all haven't been listening to the tapes. He's dropped over the years 2017, 18, 19, 2021, 2022. Niggas wasn't hearing, like, checking out the songs, none of that. He's always had a few songs here and there, but this Dirty Nachos. Sosa back. He's back. Sosa back. Mm-hmm. He's back with that dirty nachos. I'm talking that dirty nachos slaps so hard. And that's, I ain't gonna lie, he done pushed Almighty So 2 back so many times. I'm cool with this dirty nachos. Oh, yeah, for, for now. sure. For yeah. now, I'm cool with it. Because you gave us something. So now when you, could, if this, if I, if this what you gave us on this, I can only imagine 
how Almighty Soul 2 gonna be because that's gonna be an album for sure. And make sure you got my boy Tato on this too. I'm oh, yeah, to come that. on now, you gotta have some of the gang on there. I ain't shit. I that damn near new ball out hard. I was right, I was man. just gonna say I damn near need to hear some new ball, that man. Shit hard like oh, the yeah. beats cold. Okay, the flow, huh? yeah. what what is called? What do you call it? No something. I just seen ball it on out Apple back. TV. Wow, ball out back rapping. I mean, niggas sleep on ball. Ball always, ball out always has something going for itself. Oh yeah, it's called no radio. <laughs> And then it's something like that. I know that's mm-hmm. hard because this ain't for the radio. This shit so for the so streets. Here, doo-wop, Tato, oh yeah, he got the slick. He got the guys on yeah. here. Yeah. He said, "What you want though? Slick, I'm trying to get twenty bathrooms. I need a beach house down in Cancun. How you feel about um? They just recently interviewed Sosa. Um, what's dude? Um, Bootleg Kev just asked him." Recently, like, how you feel about just inspiring this new generation and things of that nature? And Sosa basically said, like, shit, they should give him a star on the um, Walk of Fame type shit. Like, definitely. You think that's something that's niggas true? wearing dreads in their face now. Like, even at that time period, like, he changed the whole young nigga mindset. Like, that's true. Every young nigga wanted to be from Chicago, wanted to total 30, want to talk about thoughts and smoke thoinks and loud. That's and very true. Rapping with auto tune. That's real. He, he changed a lot. Even they beats, like, Young Chop. No, that's like, real. Yeah, they whole vibe changed everything. I would give him a star. And, he, and to be honest, Hell yeah. Keith's still relatively young. He, For sure. he got a lot left in the tank. And people don't even realize he don't just rap. Like, he makes beats and all. Like, uh, I remember when Uzi dropped one of his tapes. Uh, he had a, uh, Uzi had a song like Ballin' Like I'm Kobe or Ballin' Like, mm-hmm. or, or Bean or some shit like that. Ballin' 24, Kobe. Yeah, Keith yeah. made that beat. Yep. Keith around here, he make him, he be doing shit on the low key side people don't be knowing because he be switching up his tags. He, sw- he switch up tags like clothes. Mm-hmm. Jumping into this next thing, man. Future and Metro Boomin also just dropped a new album, We Don't Trust You. In my opinion, right now, that's the hottest shit out. Definitely. I didn't know they were going to go that hard on this album. And so far, it was the most played album in a single day this year, 2024. (sighs) Listen, we haven't heard no new Future in a while. But listening to this made me realize why people, you know, people always be saying future really this cold and future the gold. And he wanted this album made me like I already liked future, but this made me put it in perspective. Like future may be one of the best for our generation. Hell yeah. Like for real, for real. Like it's 17 tracks on here. I say all of them is good. In my opinion. I only don't like the song with Kendrick Lamar. Like, Why not? I ain't gonna, I just, I don't know. I don't, I you don't, I you don't like K-Dot? Can't say that. I just wasn't feeling his flow or his. Okay. Uh, what I do like, <laughs> what I do like about this um, project, I love the Prodigy, Um, I guess you would say um, snippets and, or just samples. They, uh. Got Prodigy talking at a couple different tracks yeah. or in the tracks, but they uh Metro Boomin was slick sending shots at Drake from this album. I think on the first track, we hear Future, and I guess everybody's on the net been saying uh, the first verse on that first song was directed towards Drake. I guess Future and Drake fell out behind a girl, like which mo- is which is strange, which is strange. Both of y'all, nigga. never mind. Both air, both niggas is snipers. <laughs> both niggas got the bag and stuff like that. But I can see, I hate to say it, but I can see Drake being a little salty over a bitch. I can see it. Hell yeah. So I can see it going a little left. Uh, then like on that Kendrick track you said, uh, Kendrick dissed all of them. J. Cole and Drake told them it's no big three. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's just big him, this and that. Out of the big three, who who do you feel is the best? Out of them, and it, and you know, as far as the big three, they always saying is Drake, Cole, and Kendrick. I'm gonna go with Drake. You gonna go with Drake? I'm gonna go with Drake. Out of them, yeah. And is that is are you basing that off of stats, or are you basing it off uh, that yes. off of just rapping ability, and... like craft, versatility? Okay. Like I don't listen to J Cole at all or Kendrick Lamar, but it play on the radio, cool, fuck it. But I turned some Drake on, for sure. Drake got the singing, he got the party shit, he got okay. some Spanish shit, he got 
Man, I, I I respect I respect I respect your opinion on that. I respect your opinion on that. Do you think it? Do you think falling out behind a bitch was really? I I don't want to say worth it or necessary, but do you think that was like? Is that a good enough reason to fall out? No, nah, nah. especially them two. Like I say, y'all both at a point in y'all careers where it's like y'all really letting a female. But I, supposedly y'all. it gotta be something deeper than that. Supposedly like, I, I heard it was Metro Booming Girl. That's what that's what the reports are saying. And I mean, just a few months back, I don't know how true it is, but allegedly they said Future didn't really like that. Drake did a tape with Twenty One. And the internet is bringing up a lot of those verses back now, and they saying Drake was sending a lot of sneak disses on that project. Mm. We wouldn't have known at the time because we didn't know nothing about this yeah. until now. But now looking back and listening to it, it's like he was sending shots at um, Future. Even on that What Would Pluto Do and shit like that. Ah, that's one of my favorite songs yeah. on there. That's yeah. even why his name. And I that. thought it was like he was on. Some I thought like, he was paying homage. Yeah, <laughs> no, he sneaked uh, this. He, on, he was yeah, on future ass, that, nigga, man. He was on his fuck? ass right there. <laughs> and then even before this tape came out, he was on him and Metro Boomin had words on Twitter, if I'm not mistaken. So it's just yeah. Yeah, I've been fucking with Metro. That that been I, I think an he inspiration wanted, to me. Forever. I think he's to be honest. Far as you know, like back in the day, growing up, we had the Timberlands, the Scott Storches, just a, a numerous of producers. Um, I can't think of his name from um who be producing for Jay Z. Um, uh, but it was just a just num- Blaze, just Blaze. Yep, it was just a numerous of producers. Like, but for our generation, Metro booming. <sighs> He's that guy. For sure. When man. it comes to like producing, like man, because what he did on this on this future project, some of the beats and some of the man, man, just inspiration. I'm man. talking crazy. Even then, with the like um, that type shit, that might be my favorite song right now. I can't lie. He had he threw Trav on there. He threw Playboy Cardi, Cardi on there. I like that shit. The video hard. Nah, mine is that fried. That's that's future. No, that that's fried. hard too. On my and I and probably I, I ain't gonna lie. It's probably a, my favorite track. I said type shit. That's probably my second favorite track. The track um is that everyday hustle or something like that. I, I think that's it with Rick Ross. Future was really rapping on there. Mm-hmm. He was really rapping like I'm. Yeah, they 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 got it with this one. Yeah, and then and then the double back with a second album. In like the next week or two. Oh yeah, I ain't, damn, I ain't ready. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. <laughs> we is not ready. That's what I'm saying. It's future this... summer. Damn. He, they doubling back with a. They said this other album gonna be more R and B ish vibes or something like that. And you, if niggas don't know, future makes real R and B hits. Like I know Tim's gonna be on there. It's gotta be. Some, it's gonna yeah. be heat. Yeah. Don't worry. It's about gonna it. be heat. One thing the internet did say about this project, they said niggas got to stop hiding the features. Niggas got me yeah, listening to Tito liking, Touchdown. I don't, like, I don't like that shit. I swear I don't like that. And then before it came out, it was, oh, there's nobody there's no features be. and all yeah, this. I'm like, is this Travis Scott? Like, that's definitely the weekend. Like, that's definitely. Like, oh, my mama, it's features on this motherfucker. At least put their names so Come I can on now, skip bro. that shit. Hey. <laughs> Because I swear, if, if I see your name, I'm like, I'm skipping something. Skip this shit right now, man. Hell no. Nah. Okay, man. Before we wrap up the show, we got I got one last question to pose. Uh, before we get off the topics, and then we're gonna do one last thing, man. Who's on your mixtape Mount Rushmore? On mine specifically, where I'm going, Lil Wayne, Fair, Gucci, Fair. That's the uh huh. Trying to think who I was actually listening to. Jeezy, all, all his tapes. Um, I need one more. In my opinion, we talking mixtapes. I'm coming. Damn, I gotta go with like my boy Flock. Flocka. Flockavelli. Yeah. Hey, Flock. he said I ain't bullshitting. Ray Ray got a nigga straight yeah. in the club throwing money. That's that Ray Ray cake. Hey, they Ray Ray in my being a Ray Ray, Ray, man. I'm a real Ray Ray out here. Show man. you Ray Ray Ray. <laughs> Oh my oh god. Oh my god. Um we 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 kind of similar we got similar people. For sure Lil Wayne. 
Uh, for sure, Gucci man. Uh, third for me would be Keith, Chief Keith, mm. because really majority of his music coming up was all mixtapes yeah. or um singles that we got off of Spin Rilla and shit like that. I remember going to get Bang Two on Dat Piff. The whole Dat Piff was Bang Bang Part Two, like, cause truly his only albums is Finally Rich, Bang Part Two, and Bang Three. Yeah. All anything else he's done put out is technically technically was mixtapes. Well, yeah, I remember being in school waiting on sorry for the wait, the countdown. Oh my hit god! Zero, the whole site crashed. I was oh my mama. Like, That's what? how popular he was. All right, man. So so will chain one steady flame. I ain't even listening in class flaming. no more. I'm listening to this Sosa real quick. It just dropped. I'm a no bell rocking, no sock rocking. Uh, for my fourth one. Mixtape killer on my Mount Rushmore. Mm. That's that's three. That's three heavy ones. <sighs> I'm not gonna lie. I gotta say future. Because the run he went on, I mean they put him on they put him on the DSPs now it's albums, but uh is uh I whatever that the whichever one with my savages and fuck ups with commas, that's a mixtape. That's the dirty sprite. Might I, I can't it might be. Let me see. I must check it out real quick. Because he, he went on a run itself. Like like I remember that run he went on and it was just you is Oh no, nah, this a this a album. This this is one of his essential albums. Dirty Sprite too. Okay, no, I'm not talking about that. I'm talking um I'm talking about it was Monster, then he came Beast Mode, then he did fifty six nights. That's my favorite tape. Then ever, he came bro. Purple Rain. And these was all mixtapes. And if we if we talking even before then, that Streets Calling, he had the true story. Like Future had a he had a great mixtape run. Like, what I'm a dog. And I eat that dog food. I'm a G. Ain't no way around it. All type of shit. Like he, he really had that going for himself. Like, no bullshit. Before we finally wrap up the show. You know, I put in a new segment called This or That, and you already know, man. I'm going to ask my boy Zay on the track two to three questions, and he had to choose between one or the other option, man. So let's go ahead and get it started with This or That. First question. It's a crazy one. But Lil Wayne or Drake? Wayne, that's a hey, that that, that should be always that's, the easy one. Wayne, hey, bro. that's a that's a for sure. This or that, you brought him up earlier. Flock of Veli, not the project, just Flock in general, or Gucci Man. I'm riding with Flock. I ain't gonna lie. We riding with Flock, with Flock all the Gucci, way, man. I'm going with Flock. <laughs> you riding with Flock all yeah, the way, man. man. That's my boy. Okay, and. This the last one, man. This or that. Bad Boys or Bad Boys 2? Two? 2. That's my favorite movie. <laughs> I ain't going to lie. That's one of okay. my favorites. Before we wrap up the show, for sure, for sure. Have you seen the new Bad Boys trailer? Nuh-uh. The Bad Boys for, for nah. life. Nuh-uh, not yet. They just dro- Listen, they dropped the trailer. That, that third one, I'm not going to lie. Compare, and if we talk about compared to what I just seen, that third one, the worst one. I, I can't the, remember nothing from the third this one. New that's one how I know it's a, this new one, Bad Boys for Life. That's that's a that's a real bad boys movie, man. And that's it for the show, man. I appreciate all y'all who tuned in to the last episode, who was subscribing on the last episode. Continue to like, comment, and subscribe to the channel and channel and be on the lookout for more from things they won't say. And I ask all of you all to go on, on your Apple phone. If you have an iPhone, search podcast in the search bar. A purple app should come up. You click the purple app. In the next search bar, search things they won't say. Add the show. It should say follow. Click that and go all the way to the all the way. Scroll down to the bottom of the page. You should see some stars in a review space. I would like for all you guys to get a show five stars and leave a review if you could. I would greatly appreciate the support. And we out of here. Catch us next week. <laughs>